Okay, Ben, so let me see if I can do this here. Um, methyl sulfonyl methane. Yes, sulfonyl. Sulfonyl, okay. Yes, sulfonyl, when you hear YL at the end of a word, that refers to a specific kind of chemical structure. Mm. So carbonyls and sulfonyls, YL refers to the fact that uh, uh, atoms are structured the same. You know, mm. chemistry sounds really intimidating, but it's actually not if you break things apart. Chemists want other chemists to understand chemical structure. So uh, the chemical, the clue to understanding how a structure is built is in the nomenclature or the naming. So you got methyl, which is a methyl, you know, I don't want to get into too much chemistry, but methyl sulfonyl methane. And it's a form of sulfur. And what makes it so interesting is that it is completely non-toxic and unbelievably beneficial. You know, in the world, in the world of medicine, this is the holy grail of pharmacology mm. is to find a drug that has tremendous benefits and zero side effects. We've got lots of drugs that do things in the body. You know, if you walk into a pharmacy, there's a thousand different drugs that are going to do something to the body, but unfortunately, they're all toxic. They all have a degree of toxicity. Right. Nutrients, I always say nutrients are what drugs dream they could be in the sense that they're completely non-toxic and they've got wonderful benefits. And MSM is a classic example of a dream for a drug, of a drug dream, because it is unbelievably valuable. I'll tell you about some of the things it can do for you in the body here in a moment. But most interestingly and importantly to me as a pharmacist is that it's so non-toxic. It's so non-toxic that you could actually inject it right into the blood hmm. and bypass the liver. MSM is uh, a, a non-smelly form of another very interesting medication that is also supremely beneficial and supremely, non -to uh, supremely non-toxic. Uh, and uh, this is a medication, it's not a medication, but it's a substance that could be used therapeutically like a medication. Uh, but unfortunately, it stinks. You know what I'm talking about? Um, no. no DM DMSO. Have you ever heard of this, DMSO? Uh, I don't know if I'm very familiar with that. DMSO is a solvent, meaning it dissolves things, and you can actually find it in hardware stores, but it's got really interesting benefits for things like uh, arthritis pain, inflammation, bladder infections, and you can actually, like MSM, inject it right into the blood. It is not approved for use, unfortunately, as multifunctional and as therapeutic and as beneficial as it is and as non-toxic as it is. MS, uh, and the downside on, on DMSO is it has a really stinky sulfur smell. That's one of the characteristics of a lot of forms of sulfur is that they, it stinks. Uh, right. MSO stinks, has a really unpleasant odor. So people don't like to use DMSO. MSM, nutritional sulfur, you can think of it as, mm -hmm. is a form of DMSO that doesn't stink. And it's a form of DMSO that's available in a solid form, like a capsule or a tablet. Uh, but it is non-toxic. Both DMSO and MSM are non-toxic. They're found in nature. They're found in the body. Um, to me, they're the most incredible, both of them, but for our purposes here today, MSM it is an absolutely incredible way to improve health in a non-toxic fashion. So many, really, there's so many different ways uh, that DMSO helps us. If you go on WebMD's, uh, WebMD's website, you will see even WebMD suggests its use or recommends its use or at least mentions its use for inflammation, for arthritis, for um, even for hangovers. I'm not exactly sure how it would work for hangovers, but, um, but according to the WebMD website, there is actually a, a use for MSM for, ha for hangovers. What is clear and what is without a doubt is that MSM is an incredibly valuable anti-inflammatory and collagen builder. Collagen is a hard protein that is actually kind of jelly until it gets hit with an element of sulfur. Sulfur acts like a hardening agent for collagen, whether we're talking collagen in the skin or collagen in the bones. Your bones are largely composed of collagen, so MSM has applications for building collagen in the bones. Um, MSM is just so many different ways to look at how valuable MSM is. For one thing, MSM is a component of many other important biomolecules. Thiamine, the B, uh, B1, vitamin B1 thiamine, um, vitamin uh, biotin, which is another B vitamin, uh, has an uh, element of sulfur, it, uh, MSM. And I should tell you, MSM is sulfur. Hmm. That's basically how you want to think about it. I was going to ask, it seems like sulfur is the central theme here. Yeah, sulfur is the central theme. MSM is a way of, getting the, of giving the body sulfur in a very usable form. So before we get into some of the benefits and the important uses of MSM, let's just talk about sulfur real quickly. Hmm. 
Sulfur is one of the major components of the body. About a quarter percent of your human body is made up of sulfur. Mm. The body is 99.9% .9 made up of, or 99% or some crazy high amount made up of six elements. They call them the Chinops elements. C-H-N-O-P-S, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. So sulfur is one of the six key elements that make up the body. So it's got a, a structural role to play in the body. It also has a, a biochemical role to play in the body. It activates certain chemicals. And the most important thing about sulfur is that, believe it or not, we have a sulfur deficiency issue in this country. You know why? No. Because of soils. This is what Dr. Walker Oh, right, been... right, because of depletion. Soil depletion, mm. exactly. Uh, sulfur deficiency is not uncommon. A second reason why sulfur deficiency is not uncommon is because mm. people are avoiding a lot of sulfur-containing foods today because of bad medical advice. Sulfur is found in animal foods. It's found in eggs, it's found in organ meats, it's found in dairy, uh, it's found in fish. Uh, and a lot of people are avoiding the very foods that would give them the sulfur. So mm. between sulfur deficiency in the soil and uh, uh, sulfur avoidance of sulfur-containing foods, a lot of people are dealing with sulfur deficiency issues. Sulfur, by the way, comes from volcanoes. That's the source of sulfur. Sulfur is found in the center of the earth. Volcanoes spew it out, and that's where uh, most of the sulfur that we ingest comes from. And this is one of the reasons why Greece, uh, Italy, and Japan, which are the three highest sulfur exporting countries in the world, mm -hmm. are very rich volcanic uh, countries that are contain very rich volcanic ash, have the highest longevity rates in the world. Right. One of them, and lowest rates of heart disease, as it turns out, there's a very important relationship between sulfur and heart disease. And there's a very important relationship between sulfur and cholesterol. Sulfur actually makes cholesterol, and vitamin D for that matter, uh, vitamin D being very similar to cholesterol, uh, sulfur makes cholesterol and vitamin D more soluble in water so it can travel through the body more effectively and do its work. So this is one of the things that sulfur does in the body. It makes things water soluble or more water soluble in the form of something called sulfate, which is a, a type of sulfur. Uh, and the body will stick a sulfate onto cholesterol and onto vitamin D and make them more water soluble, almost like a, a magnet gets stuck onto a, a refrigerator. And oh, by the way, uh, sulfate gets its electronic activity and gets its biochemical properties of solubilization uh, by being activated by the sun. So the sun actually activates sulfur to help it improve its work. Yet another reason why you want to make sure you're getting your sun in addition to making sure you're getting your, your sulfur. So uh, some things that sulfur does for us and MSM, I'm going to use them synonymously, MSM and sulfur, because MSM gets its power from its sulfur, um, from the atom of sulfur it contains, anti-pain, anti-inflammatory, vasodilation, sulfur also, MSM sulfur also opens up or makes cell membranes more permeable so that nutrients can go through that cell membrane and get feed the cell more effectively. Just that alone gives MSM sulfur some tremendous health benefits. But even more importantly, that permeability of the cell membrane affects glucose. So MSM, as it turns out, can help cells utilize glucose and uh, help cells uh, absorb from the blood. Um, and speaking of glucose, MSM is very important for diabetics. In fact, that's one of the main claims to fame is it's part of the insulin molecule. Hmm. So imagine if you have a sulfur deficiency, you can have that can lead to an insulin problem. MSM also, as I said earlier, is a, a, a component of the B vitamins, thiamine, uh, thiamine. Whenever you hear THI in a word in chemistry, so we were talking about nomenclature earlier, mm -hmm. THI, thi, refers to sulfur. So methionine is a sulfur amino acid. Thiamine is a sulfur B vitamin. See how, see how clever they are? They, uh, they use their nomenclature as a way of defining or describing structure for a structure for other animals. Anyway, thiamine uh, contains an element of sulfur. Thiamine is also very important for blood sugar. Uh, an interesting little uh, tidbit about thiamine is mosquitoes hate thiamine, vitamin B1. And when I had my compounding pharmacy to make a thiamine mosquito repellent, and they really literally hate thiamine. But the problem with thiamine is, uh, in a cream, is if you left your thiamine in a cream for too long, it would start to stink because the sulfur would get released and you get that characteristic rotten egg smell. That's what right. gives rotten eggs their smell. So, uh, uh, so uh, thiamine is a component of the B vitamins. Uh, sulfur is a component of thiamine, which is one of the B vitamins. Sulfur is also a component of biotin, which is one of the B 
vitamins. A lot of people are taking biotin these days for skin, hair, and nails, and it's true that biotin plays a role in the hardening and the production of, of skin tissue and nail tissue and, uh, and hair as well. I've never really seen anybody get tremendous benefits from biotin. Nonetheless, this underscores or highlights a very key place, a key role for MSM in the body, and that is for beauty, for skin, hair, and for nails. Skin, hair, and nails contain collagen, obviously, and uh, uh, MSM hardens collagen. Uh, also, uh, you may have noticed in your glucogel caps, your glucose caps actually contain sulfur in the form of glucosamine sulfate. Mm. And this sulfate, like we were talking earlier with cholesterol sulfate and vitamin D sulfate, helps the glucosamine travel around through the body. It makes the glucosamine more water-soluble, the sulfate molecule. Um, so, oh, MSM is also, you can also use MSM topically. MSM topically uh, is, uh, can be helpful for arthritis pain. MSM is a very, very small molecule, like DMSO. DMSO is an incredible topical anti-inflammatory. In fact, veterinarians use it and horse racers use it for uh, the joints of horses. If I had arthritis, I certainly would think about uh, using MSM or DMSO mm -hmm. topically. DMSO uh, is a little bit more effective because it's, it penetrates through the skin more effectively, but nonetheless, MSM is a small molecule and it will penetrate through the skin to a certain extent. Um, sulfur is also a very important chelating agent. It's part of the chelating system of the body mm -hmm. in the cysteine, C-Y-S-T-E-I-N-E, -E, which is an amino acid. You know, I've, I'm a big fan of cysteine mm -hmm. as acetyl cysteine, which I use in almost all my formulations. Uh, cysteine is a chelating agent. What does that mean? It magnetically pulls toxins out. To chelate is to magnetically attract, and chelation is a way that you can clean your blood out. The body uses chelation to detoxify itself, and one of its main strategies for chelation is sulfur in the form of cysteine, in the form of N-acetylcysteine. And cysteine, sulfur, N-acetylcysteine, via that little sulfur atom, has a magnetic ability to, uh, uh, to attract toxins out of the body. Remember, sulfur is electrical. Wherever you have electricity, you have magnetism. Sulfur is both electrical and magnetic. It's electromagnetic. And this is what it gives it a lot of its very interesting properties. The immune system depends on MSM or it depends on sulfur uh, in, in the form of antibodies, uh, for example. And then, uh, uh, let's see what else I want to tell you about MSM sulfur. Oh, uh, for uh, the standout for at least the latest literature on, um, on MSM is to using it for uh, obesity-related metabolic diseases, things like liver disease and uh, Alzheimer's disease and sleep apnea and uh, all the things that are associated, all the problems that are associated with uh, dysmethyl blood sugar or dysglycemia, including disease and uh, 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 problems with the eyes, problems with the extremities, improving circulation. MSM is a wonderful vasodilator. If you don't want to, I personally, I recommend MSM supplements because they're so cheap and they're so non-toxic and they're so, they're so multifunctional. Two, three grams a day can help you with your bones, can help you with your joints, can help you with pain, can help you with your immune system, can help you build collagen, can help you if you're a diabetic or even if you're not diabetic. Uh, if you want to get your sulfur from foods, you've got to pretty much stick to your animal foods. Um, beans contain some sulfur if you want to go veggie. Uh, uh, mushrooms probably contain some sulfur if you want to go veggie. But really, the best source of sulfur is going to be eggs, organ meats, and dairy, especially in what I call the cholesterol complex, which is the complex of cholesterol that's found in these foods, along with lecithin, along with vitamin A, along with vitamin D. You'll find lots of this delicious, powerful, non-toxic, amazing, amazing nutrient MSM. You know, I was thinking of MSM as um, uh, after you turn 40, you get a little jar of MSM up in the in the counter, and it's I, I think of it as something for mostly for joints. But uh, you you seem to be illustrating that it just goes absolutely across the board in terms across. of benefits. Exactly, that's the point. Non-toxic, across-the-board benefits. Mm. The the dream of a drug when it goes to bed at night is immense, immense multifunctionality and usefulness and therapeutic value and zero toxicity. It's the, mm. the perfect example, the iconic example of what a drug wishes it could be. Mm. You know, is it uh, is it the glucogel caps in terms of longevity products? Yeah, they're not really a sort. They'll contain a little bit of sulfur, but you're not going to get enough to get nutrition to get the, a lot of nutritional value out of it. Mm. Glucosamine is magnetically pull, uh, attracted or 
or uh, squoze together, uh, attached to a sulfate molecule. And by doing that, the glucosamine becomes more uh, able to travel through the circulatory system. That's, that's, this is what sulfur does, mm. or sulfate, I should say, does, is it makes other molecules more transportable throughout the, throughout the bloodstream. Now, uh, if you want MSM in a Gengemi product, there, we have a wonderful product called MSM Ultra, which will get you some MSM. I'm not sure exactly how much is in there, though. 500, maybe? I, I should look that up. I don't know. It's called MSM Ultra. And then there's MSM Scatter, a few other products. I think the Synaptive might have some MSM in it. Mm -hmm. So to me, there is no more important supplement to take in terms of therapeutic value compared to, compared to a non toxicity you know, one of the problems as we age is uh, our blood gets sticky and coagulated. It doesn't move around as effectively. It depends on electronic charges to spread the red blood cells apart. And MSM provides electronic charges to kind of pull every, to, to spread everything apart so blood doesn't become sludgy and sticky and travels throughout the body more effectively. Again, you can see how you don't have to be full-blown sick to take MSM. A lot of people will take MSM when they have arthritis, when they have joint pain because MSM has been in the news as an anti-inflammatory and as an anti-arthritic supplement, but it's really a supplement that because it affects the bloodstream, because it affects oxygenation, because it affects uh, uh, the way the body handles sugar, these fundamental biochemical properties, it has a broad range of effects that aren't specific to any one thing. So yeah, you may take MSM for uh, as an anti-inflammatory or as an anti-spasmodic, mm. but really when you take MSM, you're gonna have longevity benefits and health benefits that you're not gonna be able to pinpoint. Right. You're just going to feel better. You may live longer. You're not going to get as sick. So you can take MSM as a, um, a, as a, a targeted supplement for arthritis, but really, I don't have arthritis. I take three grams of it a day. Mm. You want to take it just as a, a general, I don't want to say panacea, but really, in a way, it is kind of a panacea in terms of all of the different biochemical functions it can benefit. It's not going to cure disease, but it's going to benefit biochemistry in a way that you get the disease or you may notice that your disease state is improving or even disappearing and not necessarily associated with the MSM that you're taking because of its wide range of biological effects. Mm, so it's, it's definitely not just for when, you, when you're getting old or when you feel old. Bingo. It's not just for when you're old. It's not just mm. for when you're sick. Mm. It's just it as an all-around, uh, multifunctional, broad, biochemical, uh, uh, property-improving uh, property supplement. Thank you.